Please listen carefully. My name is Phoebe, and I'm going to show you how I have made a very simple retrofit of a reusable, washable face mask. So we'll go over the ingredients that you need. Use um, quilting cotton, two layers of this. I'm using a Star Trek material. Either an old t-shirt or this is jersey material that I have on hand. Scissors, pinking shears if you've got them. If not, regular shears will work. Hair elastics, you'll need two, one for each side. A paper clip or bendable wire. A hot iron, sewing machine, and your pattern. All right, so step one is cutting our material two layers of the material right sides together. You're going to cut two of the larger pattern piece. Again, right sides together, two of the smaller pattern piece. This can be any material. This is your lining. I'm just using random scraps. You could use the same as you're using for the outside. You will also cut two of your jersey material of the smaller size. First thing we're going to do with sewing is we're going to sew a seam on each of the curved edges of these pieces using a 3 8 seam allowance. Always right sides together. The next step to reduce bulk in the seam is we're going to trim each of these right up to where you just sewed. I'm using pinking shears, but if you don't have these, regular scissors will absolutely work. Now we're going to press these seams open. There we go. Flip these around. Line them up. You only need to do this for the inside lining and the outside material. The jersey does not need to be pressed. Once you've ironed your seams, open it up so the right side is facing up. Take your lining piece with the right side facing down, you're gonna to start to make a sandwich with your pieces. Now you're going to take your lining piece, and it doesn't matter which way you put this, though I like to keep the seams down so it's neater, and line this up as well. Now you want to try to make sure, as best you can, that all three of those seams are stacked on top of each other. Once they're lined up, you can go ahead and pin this top edge, like so. All right, now we're going to sew one seam along the top edge of the mask. And you don't need to worry about reversing at the front ends because this is all going to get folded over. And again, we're using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now we're going to open this up. 
so that we have our outside fabrics showing. You're going to start to begin to see how your mask is coming together. I'm going to iron this to keep it all flat. Okay, now we're going to head back to the sewing machine and we're going to make a top seam along this edge to really hold it all together. And when you're doing the top seam, I like to use the inside line of my machine to get a nice straight, very close edge. Are you ready for some MacGyver? You're going to open up your paper clip or forest wire, whatever you have. Try to make it as straight as you can. It's a little tricky. Now, going in between the jersey and your outside fabric. This gives your nose the most amount of protection it can. You're going to tuck this way up as far as you can into the seam. This is the piece that's going to mold to your nose. So you want this to be up top. And what you need to do is pinch the paper clip at the same time that you're trying to squeeze it up close to that seam. And you can see where my paper clip is. And I'm just sort of trying to force it to go into the shape that I want it to. Now we're going to sew it in place. So you're going to want to sort of mark, feel where the end of that paper clip is. Holding it tight, take it to your sewing machine. And go ahead and you're going to go right in next to your, right in next to, my paper clip is, it's like right at the edge of the foot there. I'm going to go forward a little bit and backwards forward to make that a nice strong seam. We don't want that going anywhere. And now we're going to sandwich it in there. So the whole time you're doing this, I hold the paper clip as tight as I can to that seam. So along. And you can feel the paper clip under your finger. You'll know when you get to the end. Pivot, and again, we're going to go to the edge, back up, and again. And now you have a paperclip gusset. Now that you have your paperclip in place, once again, we're going to flip this inside out. So we're going to go into where you have your lining on one side with the right sides together to your outside piece. And once again, we're going to line up seams. There's the middle seam on here. We're going to line that up as best you can with the middle seam here. Again, we're going to pin that in place. Just need two pins here. It's not too tricky. And now we're going to sew one straight line along the bottom. Once your bottom seam is sewn, we're going to turn it inside out. All right, once again with that hot iron, flatten this out. Believe it or not, we are almost 
Done. Once more, we're going to sew a nice little top seam, keep it all flush, make it look nice. After all, these are going to be the height of fashion. The last stage is using two elastic hair ties. These are the plain old basic thin black hair ties, but any kind that you find that works will be fine. So you're going to take this end here, fold it over. This is not an exact science. Press it. Fold it once more so that seam is tucked under. Now you're going to take your hair tie and you're going to loop it so that it is covered by the fabric. And you want to make sure that the, the elastic is down in that edge so that you can sew along here without sewing the hair tie. Take this over to our sewing machine. And this part's going to have some tension because it's going to go behind your ears. So I make sure I go back and forth a few times. There we go, one ear, one ear holder. Now we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to fold this in. Don't burn your cameraman. Once more, we're going to take this elastic and we're going to tuck it in there. And the reason I say not to sew your hair elastic in is if for some reason these don't work for you, they're uncomfortable, you need them longer, if you haven't sewn it in, you can thread ribbon, a shoelace, another hair elastic that's longer, anything else that you want through this gusset that you've now made. Because maybe your ears aren't the same size as mine. But now, granted you have to trim all those strings, you have a face mask paperclip down to your nose so that it hurts. You are ready to go.